I'm now going to show you the wall brick and block module. So this is for pricing a two leaf wall, one leaf brick and one leaf block. So I'll click on the letter W at the top of the screen, then select walls. Now I will click on the brick block picture. This module works in exactly the same way as all the other wall modules. So I'll enter the total length of the wall, 5 linear metres, the height, 2.4 linear metres, and now I will enter the area of any openings, for example windows, doors and so on. I'll click on the question mark and I can enter this measurement of 2.3 square metres directly into the picture. Everything has been worked out. I can see that the openings have been deducted, so the area of wall these calculations are based on is 9.7 square metres, plus the 6% wastage that I have allowed here. The blue text above the external leaf tells me the dimensions of the brick, bed size and perp joint that the calculations are based on. If I want to alter these, then I can click on the red question mark and alter any of them directly in the picture. I'll be using a Leicester red brick for my external leaf, and I'll need 0.61 of a thousand, or 610, to carry this work out. If you wanted to select a different type of brick, you can do so here, in the drop-down menu. Again, the blue text above my internal leaf tells me the dimensions of the block, bed size and perp joint that my block calculations are based on. If on reading this I wanted to alter them, I can click on the red question mark and adjust any of the details right here in the picture. I'm going to need 11 metres square of 100mm lightweight blocks, and just over 7 and a quarter hours have been allowed to lay them. I will be using the 100mm lightweight block, but if you want something different, you can use the drop down menu to choose what you want. The details and costs of the DPC for my external and internal leaf are here. I will need to enter the lintel I'm using. I'll want one at 1800mm. There are many different lintels in the library, but if you cannot find the one you want, you can add it and it will be available for you to choose when you price. The insulation and wall ties are next. You can alter any of the default material selections by using the drop-down menu. If you want to see how the wall ties are worked out, you can click on the question mark. If you use different spacing, you can enter your own measurements into the diagram. This may be something that you would do in your master copy then it would always be set that way when you come to price. The mixer, sand, cement and plasticizer are calculated. If you wish to look at the details, then you can by clicking on the red question marks. If you want to alter anything, you can do so in the picture. I do have the option to add lime. I won't be doing this, but you can, by entering how many bags you will want here in the blue cell. I will just draw your attention to the work section column. As you can see, every item is set as walls. This allows the programme to break down the overall job, if for example you're building lots of walls, windows, roofs and so on. So this module and section of works will be classed as walls, and the programme will be able to put it into the correct section of any reports or summaries. If you did not require any of the items, for example wall ties, you can just untick the box and it's instantly removed from the pricing sheet. By entering three numbers and letting the module know about any lintel or lime requirements I may have, my brick block wall is priced. The totals for the plant, materials, hours, labour and overall total are here along the bottom.